Okay, here we're gonna do a gradient, which is just the gradual transition between two colors. We're just gonna do yellow into blue, and then the blend zone, it should turn into kind of a green color. So that's why I want you to have two brushes, so you can kind of start at either end, and then use one to blend. You could also put one color here, rinse your brush, put another color here, rinse your brush, and then where they're meeting, use this dry brush to kind of blend. Or you could even wet it a little bit and blend that way. Um, I'll show you both ways. So starting with, let's just do yellow. I'm gonna get a big scoop. I can already tell my brush wasn't rinsed well. That's okay. This yellow paint is very thin. There are some acrylics that are better than others. They just have more pigment. This is very cheap and thin. But there you go. Put your yellow. Let's actually bring it all the way into this middle area. Okay, I'm gonna rinse my brush. Yeah, I think I just wanna save the second brush for the blending. So let's grab the blue. in there. This blue is a little bit thicker. It's just a different brand. But okay, let's bring it into here. I'm actually going to rinse one more time and add a little bit more yellow. So there's a couple ways you can blend. You could actually blend on the palette since this is paper, that might be a better idea now that I'm doing this. Um, but just to kind of show you on the canvas, you can blend directly on it and it actually is pretty good technique. But you can see here, I'm already getting that nice in-between color. I'm just going back and forth with these brushes to have sort of this limish green, yellow green, into the green, and then into like a blue green. Add just a little bit of blue here, my yellow. And blending really is all just about going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, depending on how smooth you want it. Okay, another way you could approach this is actually doing the blending on the plate, which is fine to do, especially if you're afraid you're gonna rip the paper because this is thin paper. So if I wanted to do that, I would take my light color first Put it somewhere nearby, rinse that brush, get my blue, and the benefit of doing it on the plate is that you can make a couple versions of it and then use that to take from as you're blending on your actual painting. So say I want this like more pure green and then maybe I want more of like a yellow green. So next to it, right, I'm gonna add a lot more yellow, just a tiny bit of blue. And I kind of like having them next to each other to even help with my blending. The challenging part about this is if you have a big area to paint on your canvas, you uh, likely will run out of the paint. So if you get the exact color you want, it's sometimes really hard to make again. So depending on the style you're working in, um, that could be problematic. But I'm just gonna go over this one more time because I like this color. Typically when you're working on paper, you're gonna want the paint to dry in between, but uh, this is my little demo, this is fine. And I'm just kind of going back and forth, putting a little bit of the darker one back on my brush now into that blend zone. Just to kind of clean up this last area, I'm gonna go back over with yellow. And just kind of fade it in. Okay, so you can put your strokes up and down, side to side. The, the key here is trying to have a nice gradual blend. So, See what you can do.
And um, again, you can always let, let it dry and then go over it again if you feel like you need to do it one more time.